Great job. S sniffing out the back door right there. And a great job being in position. Latmeyer running. Let's see if he gets a transition three. Raskin's dodging bullets right now. Those are wide open good looks for the Jays. Quick three for Wilson, and it falls, giving this crowd a little something to cheer about. For them defensively, that's a big lift to have him on the floor. No question about it. Wilcher curling to the rim. Goes for first. That's really a nice play by C.J. Wilcher. Smelly on the drive. Taken away by the Huskers. Looking to push. Over to Wilcher for three. Buries it. Three assists. Um, and, and then he's plus 16 right now. The highest plus minus. How about that feed from Burge inside to Wilcher? You've got two really talented freshmen, the future of this program, and Bryce McGowan's, depending on how long he's here, and, and Wilhelm Breidenbach. Eduardo Andre to the 10. He brings some energy off the bench. Eduardo Andre, the two-handed flush. It's really good for Nebraska right now. He's on the floor. One of the younger players here on the push. And feeding again, it's Wilcher. A little bit of momentum now for Nebraska. They've taken the lead right back. Get a good execution right here offensively. Wilcher bounce pass into McGowan, who oh my throws God. it down God. and yeah. draws the foul and heads Dunga. to the line. Pump that. Look at this. Yaka Dunga. 20 point lead for the Huskers. There's Webster. No look pass to Wilcher. Nice nifty finish inside. Kobe Webster. Running into Stewart, no foul. It's in the shoot. Pass deflected, taken away by Wilcher up ahead. Alonzo Burge all alone. He was on his scooter dealing with the broken foot, and he found himself in the fray of a little kerfuffle. And now a turnover for Michigan. Home run ball. Up to Smith. Goes off of Smith. And it's going to be with Nebraska. He's going to turn it over some, but he's got to tone that down. You can't turn it over six times. And... Verge elects to shoot the three. Got it. Nebraska is going to sell out to digging the ball out of the post. And can Ohio State make shots is the question. Wiltshire fires from three in the lead for Nebraska. Floor. Then go under a handoff on C.J. Wiltshire is a no-no. Wiltshire play. Alonzo Verge. Great pass. Wiltshire waited for Hauser to go up. Drew the foul. Count the bucket. From Nebraska, Verge coming off the ball screen. C.J. Wiltshire cutting back door. You get Hauser in the air. And now... More and more comfortable with the game and with college basketball. The sky is the limit for Max Christie. C.J. Wiltshire, sharpshooter, hits it. So Nebraska is not going quietly into the night here. Tominaga grabs it, stops and pops for three. A little bit strong. Rebound for Wiltshire. Turnaround jumper. The fade for Wiltshire. He has 11. And Coburn missed. Got his own rebound. Throws it away. Wiltshire right there to intercept. Mayan down the lane. Tries to feed it to Wiltshire. Tough fadeaway shot, but C.J. Wiltshire got it to go. Wiltshire tough with Morton. Hand in his face, it doesn't matter. Last second shot. And then C.J. Wilcher, you won't see two tougher threes in back-to-back -back possessions. Unbelievable. Almost a half quarter off the glass. Well, Nebraska had 12 field goals made in that first half. Six of them were threes. Percent this year, Nick, bottom 20 in the country. And that's something that Fred Weber thought was going to be a strength with this team. Well, they can hit around the basket. There's Derek Walker on a nice dish from Wilcher. Morgan spread. Verge. Collapsing the defense and a good extra pass from C.J. Wilcher. I mean, this is where you put Zach Eady in ball screen situations. Look at all the white jerseys attracted around Burge. Somebody's got to. Wilcher, step back three. Johnson. 
tough shot. You're going to take that shot, you got to make it. He's giving Indiana great minutes. And you get C.J. Wilcher with a step back. It's a tough shot. Lands in Wilcher's hands. Walker, beautiful seal underneath against Mulcahy. All right, Dave, thank you very much. We welcome those of you who have been watching Northwestern win by one over Rutgers. Quite a thriller there and a big win for the Wildcats. Kevin Kugler alongside Stephanie White. 13-13 here is Bryce McGowan's. Allowing him opportunities to elevate over shorter defenders. There's Wilcher. He was dead set on shooting it, and you can see why. Hits the three, and Nebraska grows the lead to five, their largest of the night. After they get the offensive rebound, they've had a few opportunities to make shots off of it. Don't expect that to continue on with them missing those. Just the fifth team foul on Nebraska. And now a turnover. Wilcher with the intercept to the other end. Toussaint dribbling out of traffic into the hands of Wilcher. Webster left wide open, and he splashes another. Here's Verge off the fake, nine to shoot. C.J. Wilcher off the Husker bench, steps in for a deep two, and he hits. He's been a good sixth man of late for Nebraska. Shot clock under 10. Wilcher spins himself free. That was pretty. Yes, it was. Let's see his feature prominently on them right now. Nice steal by Bowie, and then the Wildcats give it right back. Wilcher. Backdoor, McGowan's going up for the dunk and gets the roll, and so he is now the all-time leader in freshman points. Just takes it out of the air, and then nice feed from Wilcher. Now he's going with some ill intentions at the rim. See, he and Ty Berry meet at the summit. McGowan's gets it to go. He knows how to get everybody going. Wilcher. Inside the arc this time, same result. Driving into the lane, nothing there. And in Cornwall. The offensive struggles, right? Like that, that's one thing, but defensively, that's something that's got to be there night in and night out. And I think that's a frustration for Fred Hoiberg. That was a nice recovery, though, by Wiltshire, and then he gets a chance to knock down his second three. Eight points already. Oh, E.J. Liddell is such a good offensive rebounder. That, man, that was a terrific box. Wiltshire with a spin and off the glass. Boy, what a lift he's given them off the bench, Steph. He's got 15. Kobe Webster. Back it goes to Wiltshire. Fakes the three, takes the two, and uses the window again. Keita picks up his dribble. Ten on the shot clock. There's Wilcher on the drive. Out to Gary for three. Drains it. How about the start from Jawan Gary? Strong to the right. Wilcher for three. That's yes. it. That's what he wants. That's the kind of look you want, CJ. Up to Wilcher, over to Denham Dawson for three. He's going to get in on the action, too. Eight-point lead. Loose ball. Good hustle out of Greasel. Nebraska comes up with it. They're going to push. Wilcher. Aggressive inside. And what he a gets take. the in one. Flannell head to the line for the old-fashioned three-point play. The old-fashioned three. Swing it around. Make the extra pass. Nebraska adjusts, and now a turnover. Wilcher at the elbow, puts his head down, drives and scores. Again, you referenced it. He shed about 15 pounds during the offseason. And that allows you to add more strength, add a little more durability, add some more quickness. And that's why I think St. John's was just a really tough matchup for Nebraska. Great pass to Breidenbach. What a slip and a score. Well designed and executed perfectly by Nebraska. This is where spacing is important. These middle of the floor ball screens create space in the middle of the floor because defensively, as a helper, tipped by Kata, goes to the sideline, saves it. Wilcher in the lane, up and scores. Bit of a frantic possession there for Nebraska, but they find points. Great job, big physical guard drives down. Great finish by the big fella. And his first bucket of the night, just his second field goal attempt. They usually don't go to him early. And there's the hands 
And Wilcher creating that steal. Outlet. Here's a game. It's a moment in the game right now. If you want to, if you're if you're soon as you want to get, there's the Wilcher stop. you're looking for right Wilcher's there. Wilcher's got to get going. They just had to try to get through that Brighton box screen, and Tominaga, as a result, was open to shoot the three. Wilcher has eight tonight, including a couple of threes. Vandemel flips it to him underneath, and a crowd out for Griesel. His three here. Good. They can't sustain it. Playing the minimum amount of bodies that they're playing right now. They got no answer for Derek Walker right now. They just really, really nice feed by Wilcher. Dominated this game. Nothing short of sensation. Just comes in, seals the smaller guard, gets it over the top. Not too excited. And that kid gets me going. BC comes out of the zone. Wilcher for three. All oh, Nebraska now. Up 13. The right block. He is always looking for that three. Wilcher will take the three and he'll hit it. He's got 18. Junior with the sweet feed. And then you know when the shooter is feeling it. Comes off the ball exchange. In the history of this program, as the three won't go. And saved in play for Nebraska. He's on the bench right now. Wilcher to the rim with a two-hand flush. Things that you're going to utilize from your experience at the NFL level to assist your guys here. Wait, I think you know going through the draft. Oh, what a great pass! Sorry, guys. Right about him, and so I can help guys as they're here with us for four years, get a great education, win. But when they go to the NFL, man, we're going to have all those those boxes be checked. Yeah, it's good to be able to expand their their roster and their rotation a little bit. They want to get Jamarcus is going. So Wilcher. big man. Big Walker, body. nice finish inside. Quite the pace to the start of this game. Double break zone almost as Wilcher with a couple of fakes. Wilcher got it over McCaffrey. And what'd you say, Kevin? He went to Lincoln. Lincoln East High School. So he was a Spartan. He wasn't a Link. Oh, okay. Many say that the Links were the top school in Lincoln as Nebraska. From nearby Brooklyn Park, Minnesota. Vandemel fires for three, and the hot shooting we saw in the first half continues early on second half. Kind of a settle, I think, if you're Illinois. You've got some good things going toward the rim. You can get that shot anytime. Wiltshire driving to the rim. Nice job by Griesler coming in there and helping on the block out there on Danger. Wiltshire gets baseline. Woo! The drive and the reverse, and the Huskers right back in this one. Go to the Nebraska Cornhuskers. They attack the rim. First off, a dribble drive, and then here, Wiltshire with an outstanding individual effort. Go to the opposite side, the completion. 6-0 run here to start the second half. Throw by 10 early. Wiltshire high arcing three. That's what they were looking for. There's one that goes down. Oh, there you go. Walker says, I see you. Hoiberg wants another three. He gets it to go. But a 13-second difference between shot clock and game clock here for Nebraska. Milcher found some space. Nice extra feed, and Walker turns it into two. Lawrence for three. Answers. Here's Pickett. He'll post. He loves to post smaller guards. Winter has it taken away and then a foul. 14 0 Michigan run. Goodness, what a turn of events. Wilcher trying to quelch that run and he does with a three. Seven for 11 now in the second half from the floor. Some of the runs in this game have been pretty wild. <laughs> Breidenbach with the catch and finish. Reed lost it. Whatever it may be, first four in, first four out. But if you don't take care of business now, in his words, March doesn't matter. So it's all about taking care of business today and adding another. W to the column. We got a tie ball game. 6.35 to go here in the half. A lot of contact, no whistle. Tominaga, put on the gas, into the lane. Nebraska leads for the first time. Well, it'll be interesting to see, coming off the big win over Purdue, just the emotional potential letdown that could be at play for Maryland. That's like three times now that you've gone, oh my gosh, with pain to pay. So, so few people really understand how to play in the post when you see somebody that does it. High volume day for him. Wilcher on the take, back to that spin. Oh, 
Yeah, Carrington hobbled down the baseline as Wiltshire put it in. A little under four minutes away from the fourth straight win. This is Braden Carrington. Ominaga. Back it goes to Walker. Wiltshire. Oh. Finds Walker again for an easy two. Kind of napping a defensive transition and Hogard able to turn the corner. The big stressor today for Nebraska was transition D. How about the Huskers rolling to the rim? Walker with two and a chance for one more after the timeout. First bucket of the day on senior day for Connor McCaffrey. Good find inside from Wiltshire to Breidenbach. What a pass right there, C.J. Wiltshire and Breidenbach cutting. Both these teams really struggle in both of those facets of the game. We'll see tonight who can win those battles. Easy look for Derek Walker. He's going to go right at Derek Walker. They could get him his third foul. That would be a huge development. Oh, he lost the ball, though, on the pass from Ola Joseph. Lawrence, you got to stop him or he'll do just that. They're looking to play through that post. Wiltshire driving. Oh, how did he do that? Going against the grain here. He is under the rim, but somehow finds a way, puts enough English on this basketball, draws the contact, and just reaches all the way back. Just don't understand. Wilcher inside. Good pass. Rink gets the finish. Probably happened. It's now what do they do with the adversity of it? Rink Bass going to work inside. Hoiberg back into the game for the Huskers. Wilcher, step back three, knocks it down. That's tough. Lawrence off the screen, kick out to Wilcher. Baseline drive to Mass for the finish. Good feed there, C.J. Wilcher to Mass. Pretty clear Nebraska pegged Mervyn James on the scouting report as a guy they've got to keep an eye on. Yeah, that's something that Kevin Baggett said that Mervyn James is going to have to adjust to. Ooh, nice spin and finish by C.J. Wilcher. Get bound. Taking a look at it, Wilcher with the nice spin and to the opposite side of the floor, was able to get it up off the window quick before the shot block on the opposite side could come through. That's hard with a spin, a little escape move. High school player, late signee, there with an opportunity to really drive it. <laughs> and then Joe, looks like he's going off a trampoline, and that was... Wiltshire with a steal. Alec secures it for the big red. Jamarcus Lawrence, Josiah Alec back into the game. Alec, Wiltshire back out to Gary. Misses everything. Wiltshire pulls down the offensive rebound and, and lays it back in. Offense really going back to the finish of the regular season last year. How well Nebraska played the last six, again. eight games. It's Gary off the feet from Wiltshire. This passing is on point tonight. Juwan Gary, just one field goal in the first half, and we show it to you. We are that thorough. Huskers. Wiltshire, he'll fire, and he knocks it down. C.J. Wiltshire with nine points off the bench here tonight. Lee Cole off the glass. No, Cooper at position, but the rebound to Hoiberg. Tomei Nago, who kept that right foot down, nearly walked. Wiltshire, how about another deep three? Oh, man. Via the long ball, C.J. Wiltshire letting it fly. Entry pass, Wiltshire posts up on Walker, up and in and scores. Some big second half minutes here. Well, C.J. Wiltshire has really brought a spark to the Huskers, playing big boy basketball in the paint. Wiltshire pulls it. And drains it. Wow, what a start for C.J. Wilcher. Yeah. South Carolina State now one of 17 from the floor. Just have really struggled getting the ball in the lane. They've been successful, but just not able to get it to go. Nice take by Wilcher there. He plays with great poise. He's two-feeted stop. He'll shot fake. He'll be able to go in. And... Another takeaway for Nebraska. They've got numbers. Coleman. Ooh, nifty little finish there for Coleman. Walker's played very well, averaging 13 over his last three. That's been a nice find for Indiana to get him going as Wilcher around the screen hits the three. He's coming off the season high 18 in Nebraska's last game. And Wilcher, he'll try. Not afraid to hit from three. He didn't take the first one. 
He gave it up to Hoiberg. That is just a big time play by the freshman. Then on a scramble situation, the ball didn't stick with Hoiberg. Hoiberg looking for Wilcher. He's feeling it. The three rolls around and home. C.J. Wilcher is on fire. Things are starting to pick up from behind the arc for both teams. Wanted to go to Tominaga, and they had a little set, but Klesman did a great job of fighting him. A shot by C.J. Wilcher. He had A.J. Store all over him. Good job by Alec of not losing his mind. You made one, but moved the ball. And look at what happened for C.J. Wilcher on the backside. Excellent feed to Tominaga for the easy two. You assume not a long rest there. The inbounds to Mags. Got to go to work. And a shot clock violation. Lawrence not ready for that pass. He captured that anyway. Wilcher wide open. There's Madison once again. That play works. Northwest is going to shoot a couple. But let's take a look at the last successful offensive sequence. That's just a breakdown in communication. If you're the big there, Corey, you have to help and then recover. They may have something going to the rim because they're trying to take away and be a little bit more active out here on the passing end. Wilcher deep three goes for C.J. Wilcher, his second May three today. He has eight. Force Northwestern to try to defend. Just going to ask you, when Alec comes back in, he's at the scores table, but Wilcher says, my turn. He has ten. They've got to figure out a way to try to just get a good feeling. That won't help. Only 14 made threes on the year for long. Two of them early on here in this game. Here's C.J. Wiltshire speaking of off the bench. Nebraska scores a lot with their bench, and Wiltshire leads the way in that regard. But the Williams rebound, and the Huskers can cut it to single digits. Wiltshire looking for three. He's got it! to C.J. Wilcher. Instant offense off the bench. He has been hot here in Pinnacle Bank Arena. Here's Storr. Body and taken away. Boy, back to back. Bad decisions from Storr. A bad pull up and a bad drive. 13 Wisconsin turnovers. Wilcher. This game is tied for the first time tonight. All the way back. 19 down. On him. Nebraska's offense has really been struggling outside of C. Here's Wilcher trying to get going. Now masked for three. And it goes. He's just such a tough guard. The late clock again as Lawrence calls for a screen. Boyle out to help. There's Wilcher in tight space. Went to the offhands. Nicely done. Wow. Leal did a really good job of coming into the vision of his teammate to bail him out. Wilcher working against Gunn. Tough fadeaway for C.J. Wilcher, but he makes it look easy. Wilcher curling. Drops it. Oh, go to him, him. Although Cornhusker is going to put Parker Fox in the meat grinder right here. He has to help up on Wilcher. You see the strong roll, the finish. This pick and roll offense, the spread, so difficult to guard. Maxi late to the party. Nebraska trying to get settled here. CJ Wilcher off the bench. That's a spark. Bucket in the foul. And maybe that gets him going, Chris. In his last six games, he's just six of 33 from the field and two of 21 from three. Pretty good contest there. You get Zed keep putting on the floor and shooting a contested floater. You're going to feel good about that if you're in Nebraska. Wilcher hangs on to the pass that was a little bit behind him, and Wilcher's gotten it going inside tonight. Coming from that painted area, Tominaga has nine, Bryce Williams has seven. Low toss, trickles out, high up is called. Possession arrow favors Nebraska. It's a 12-2 Nebraska run to extend this to 16. Late in the shot clock, Wilcher gets hands on it. He's out in transition with the layup. 
and Nebraska is a team that traps the post, so you have to understand how to rotate out of it. He sinks down to take away the top guy, and then he gets back out to Doug McDaniel. 